Have you ever wanted to build a no-code drag and drop editor right inside your Angular app? Today, I'll show you how to integrate Grape.js, powerful block-based page builder, into your Angular app. With this setup, you'll be able to create your own custom visual editor and export clean HTML and CSS ready to use anywhere. Let's open up our favorite editor and create a new Angular project. We add Angular routing and choose SCSS. Once everything's done, change into the front-end directory and run npm install grapes.js. Once installed, open up the front-end folder and create two components, pages home and grapes editor. Open the source folder, app, app component HTML and replace with router outlet. Then in here, add the home component route Specify the path to be just an empty string, save it, go to the home page, replace this with app grapes editor, save it in the tsconfig.json file, add in allow sync default imports to true, and in angular.json, add the grapes styles. Open the grapes editor component and in the HTML file, add in a div with ID gjs. Now open the grapes editor ts file, import the grapes library, add in a private variable called editor, add an ng after view init function, inside initialize grapejs and store the resulting editor instance in the editor variable. Now let's add in a few options. We set the container to render the editor inside the div with id gjs, set from element to false to start with a blank editor, set the width to auto and height to the screen height. And finally, set store manager to false so it won't save to local storage. Let's add this to load in sample HTML tag using the set components function. Let's launch our Angular project using ng-serve. Head over to the website. This is what we get when it loads. We can click on typography and change the h1 tags placement either in the center, right or the left side. If we double click on it, we can edit the text directly. Now let's go back to the editor and add in custom blocks that we can drag and drop in. Let's create a register blocks function and inside access the grape.js block manager and store it in a BM variable to make it easier to call methods on it. To create a heading block, we call the add function on our block manager instance and set the first parameter to heading. In the second parameter, we provide a few options. We set the label to heading, the category to document, and for the content, we define an object with type set to text, the content to document title, tag name to h1, and editable to true. To add a paragraph block, we follow similar procedures. Just replace the first parameter and label with paragraph, and for the tag name, use p tag instead. For the image block, the process is similar, but in the content option, we simply use the image tag since we won't be editing it like we do with text. Finally, call the register blocks function inside the ng after view init. Now let's save everything and head back to the website. Refresh the page. Open the blocks and here we can see we added three new blocks. We can drag and drop them however we want. If we click on this one, we can rearrange them by dragging and dropping. We can edit the content of any of the texts. Now let's go back to our IDE and add a function to extract the HTML and CSS from the editor. Create a new function called save page. In the save page function, we add a grape.js command called save HTML. When this command runs, it grabs the current HTML and CSS from the editor, shows an alert to confirm the save, and logs the HTML and CSS to the console. This way, you can easily capture and reuse the editor's output. Now let's call the save page function in our ng after view init, and after it, create a button in our editor panel that will trigger the save HTML command in our save page function when clicked. Now let's save everything and head back to the website. In here, reload the page, and we can see that at the top, right side we have a new save button so let's add in a few blocks and click the save button we get an alert and if we inspect the page in the console we see the html and the css data printed here from here you can use angular to export the html and css content into separate html and css files for download or for further use thanks for sticking around till the end if you'd like to discuss this topic further or any other topic i've created a discord channel you'll find the link in the video description Come join us to chat about tutorials, showcase your projects, collaborate, and more. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, drop a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future topics. Don't forget to subscribe, new videos every Thursday. Take care and cheers!